Another wacky, wacky program <laughs> back on the air. The guys are here. Hi, yo, Silver. Yes, indeed. Leave it and Larry Cook and Cheap. How are you? Just nod your head. You uh -huh. know, whatever. We can see you in there. We can see you right out there. I don't think we've ever done a cooking show with anybody sitting in that particular room watching TV. Well, I'll be darn. That's you cook it there very often, They darling? put televisions <laughs> everywhere these days. Well, we were just looking through some of our letters oh, that we got. I know. <laughs> these are these are real, honest to goodness, we, around we, the country. These are called true letters. True letters from around the world. Right. Here's one that says, Dear Larry, Larry and I watch your show. This is from Larry to Larry. Uh -huh. This is a good friend of mine, mm -hmm. by the way. I freak him out by putting him on here. It says, talk to Treva the other day. Uh -huh. That's my Aunt Toots that you may have heard something mm -hmm. about. Haven't been able to see her all winter. I, she had that invisible cream on, uh -huh. you know, when none of us yeah. seen her. Both kids have been sick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me everything. Baby spent five days in the hospital. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I really am. Anyway, that's uh, from Kathy Cave and the whole Cave family up in the Shenandoah Valley. Well, they are good friends one. of mine. Dear Larry and Laban, finally, we are getting some new shows down here in Richmond. It seems like it took forever, but good things are worth waiting for. Those old, old shows, we had our hippie clothes on still. In reference to that lady that told Laban she wouldn't want to eat anything that y'all cooked, we want you to know that we would consider it an honor to eat anything you guys cook. Yeah. We watch your show every day, and we think you do a fabulous job. Brother. Remember. Cooking Cheap is our favorite cooking show. <laughs> so guys, you keep cooking and we'll keep looking. And that's from Debbie and Trudy in Richmond. Debbie and Trudy. Yes, God, they've written love them. I appreciate yes, it. Yes, indeed. And here's one, dear cooks. I really enjoy your program. Don't change a thing. Mm -hmm. Except maybe Johnson's shirt. We get real tired of that blue <laughs> one that he's wearing. <laughs> you can lick your fingers all you want as far as I'm concerned. After all, cooking is not usually done in st with sterile gloves. <laughs> I'll be How right about back. this one? I have forgotten. Uh, would you like the recipe number 608? Would like the recipe number 608? I have forgotten what it was. I tune into the show late and wonder what the first item was. Thank you from Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we can remember what it was, we'll send it to this you. This one, I thought it said you leak so much, but it says you look so much like my grandson in law that I called my daughter to <laughs> ask her to look at the TV and she agrees she had not seen your show. So I guess I look like somebody out there and that's from Clintwood, Virginia. Is that Clintwood? Uh-huh. Clint and this is from a little girl that uh, Christina Lanza in the fourth grade. She says, I really enjoy your show. I would like to try the recipes for th the last three shows, please. The guys make people laugh. On Monday after I do my homework, I look forward to your show to make me laugh. I hope you keep your show on the air. And finally, last and certainly not least, we have a real, real pretty one here. It says, guys, uh, like your show last week, would you bake sugar cookies next week, please? And this is from our general manager. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's from Lisa Walker. Thank you very much. Okay, a little well, let's drawing go over on here. there, too. We're doing hamburgers today. Oh, look, she drew a picture of your heart. Oh, your heart, your heart, right, your heart, right, your heart, right, your heart. It's still got the zipper in it. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing? I've, we're doing burgers. Remember that little uh, teen boy from uh, junior high school last week? Wrote Didn't know how to do burgers. Yeah, he, he and some of his pals wanted to do burgers uh, while their, somebody's mama and daddy were out of town, and they were going to invite some girls over to impress them. So everybody watch. We're going to show you how to do burgers. All right. Okay. Well, if you say so, I guess it must be true. Absolutely. Well, I guess I've well, just about... Well, why you burned up all of my vegetables? I didn't do Gosh. anything to it. I oh. pulled them off. <laughs> oh, well, actually, they're all right. I'm the one that pulled them off. I oh. believe you should be grateful to me, unless you want to wear this hot grease. Hmm. What I'm doing right now over here is, uh, you know, I just realized I'm wearing the same thing I wore on last week's show. How embarrassing. Oh, I know. I don't know how that happens. Sometimes the wardrobe department. Your honor. No, the wardrobe department here at the mm. TV station gets confused and they drag out the wrong one. Larry, okay. before we get it, let me show people how to do a basic burger. Basic burger. Yeah, hand me the salt. The BB. The BB. Hand you the what? The salt. All right. Here is some hamburger and you put just a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Well, now just a minute here. Why don't you use a little of this uh, this this Sours family black pepper? Because they, they use the Kroger pepper. That's <laughs> the problem is we got too many free products around here. Now we like them all. We love right. them all. They're wonderful people. And I'm just going to mix this. Uh, this is ground round. I've been it's, there. It's not it's so place. fat. Oh, uh -huh. oh, the oh, oh, the meat. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And 
I'm just mixing this up and that's my hamburger that everything else will come from today. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Wow, how exciting. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to first do a Roquefort burger <laughs> and it should be a lot of fun. Mm. I'm going to do two kinds of burgers. Oh, okay. And I just put just a little tablespoon full or teaspoon full of uh, just a little bit of oil, oil on the stove, and I'm heating that up right now. And I have some gr lean ground beef. Good. And this is the first time I'll have to admit that I've ever had beef that had a toll-free telephone number on the side of it. <laughs> it does. It says questions about this meat product. Call this number. Well, we'll be flashing that number on the screen that at poor the end cow's of the program. husband will write in and say, <laughs> "What happened to Sign my wife?" Elsie the cow. <laughs> no, I don't. It, it, it is. But anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make actually two thin burgers. You know, I was reading somewhere, Laban, some time ago. Of course, I do a lot of research into these programs uh -huh. before we go on the air. Uh -huh. And I read somewhere not too long ago that when you're making burgers, you don't want to smash them up too much because you, you smash all the air out of it. Uh -huh. And it's not good. I prefer to use a, a hamburger press, but if you're going to use your bare hands, you may as well do that. Now, this one requires fairly thin. Make one real thin one. And then we're going to make another real thin one to put on top of it. This is going to be kind of like a double burger, and we're going to fry it that way. Are you smacking that kid? <laughs> no. I'm just oh, I thought you were smacking that my, kid I'm making a little again. bit heavier burger, and I'm going to do <laughs> two of these because both of these are going to get different treatments after they're, they're done. And mine are a little bit fatter than Lair's because... Well, they always have been. I'm going to do a little more with them. All right, now, i got to get my Roquefort... Uh, cheese out here and I've kept it cold. Mr. Johnson and I had a little conversation about this prior to going on the air and usually under normal circumstances you would you would uh, serve Roquefort cheese at room temperature but because we need to crumble it on top of this burger we needed to chill it just a little bit so that it would be just a little bit crumbly which it is. Well, chill it Bly. It's sort of semi crumbly and semi gushy. Well, you can't have it totally. Semi-Gushi, I remember. You remember Semi-Gushi? Uh, he, he was a one man. that served in the Emperor's Palace over in... Uh... Now, what you need to do is take this burger... Oh, no. ...and put it on top of this burger, and you need to seal it up around the edges. Now, Johnson says that he has heard that if you'll take a little water and seal the edges with water... I'll try that, Johnson. Let's see what happens. Let me wet my hands. Okay. Take your wet hands. I wonder why that is. It says it seals better. I don't know. Do you believe that? Does it? All right, there you go. That's a fairly thick burger, and it's now sealed on the sides. Sealed with a kiss. And now we're going to take that, and we're going to put it on this hot stove. Woo and we're going to fry that thing. And that's what we're going to do with that one. Meanwhile, I am on this uh, other eye over here. You will see I have done up some fine Valleydale bacon and it's just right and I'm going to cut it off right now. We did it very slowly in keeping with Mr. Johnson's instructions from last week. See, isn't that pretty? It's uh, crisp but it's still very flexible. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to lay that on a little paper towel and because we're going to do a cheese bacon burger here in just a little bit. We'll show you how to do that. Doesn't take a great amount of brains and uh, we'll, we'll try and do that in just a second. Now, my burgers are... I need to salt and pepper my burger, by the way. Once I put it on, I'm going to do that right now. All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, my burgers are just going to town over here. So what <clears> town <throat> are they going to? Uh, Finn Castle. Oh, okay. And they're coming along <clears throat> real well. Let's see if I can flip it. Oh, they're just going to be perfect. Lots of burgers today. Mm -hmm. Now, to over station. here in this pan, I'm making a little chili sauce to put on a burger because it might be real tasty. This mm, is a, that cheese. This is a wow. couple of tablespoons full of chopped onions and a couple of tablespoons of chopped green pepper. And they've been sauteed in some butter and now I've added some just plain old commercial chili sauce to it. And that's gonna serve as a wonderful topping on one of these burgers eventually. Okay, while he's doing that, we're gonna take just a little salt and pepper, just a little bit over the edge of it here. I like to do it while it's frying, all right? 
Well, well and it's frying time. And I like a little more pepper than I most people I guess we're going to leave you. you. Da, 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 da. Now you can see that. You can smell. You can just smell that Roquefort cheese in there that is just so wonderful. Cause it's frying time. Have you ever, uh, have you ever had hamburger gravy? Hamburger gravy. Oh yeah. Oh, it's wonderful stuff. That's wonderful stuff. I have a friend who said they used to have it for breakfast. Ugh. I can't imagine anything worse. And by the way, I'm going to give you just a little tip. When I was getting ready to go out and buy a few things for this show, one of the things I realized I would have to have for a burger would be some buns. However, last week I used these English... No, 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 <laughs> not those. And you certainly wouldn't need them that large. That would be enough for an entire bowl. Uh, <laughs> we had some of these uh, English muffins left over, and they're still nice and fresh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split an English muffin for my burger. And we'll use up what we had in the fridge... Well, kitchen last week or something like that. Now I'm going to start, uh, going to start uh, getting my next burger ready here. Now this one will not be a double decker. This will be a single decker, and we're going to use uh, just uh, some American cheese. Now you can either use processed cheese or you can use a real thing, which is what I got. I have some. Oh, excuse me. It's real neat the way I picked it up while you're looking at it. Uh, some some Kroger real American cheese there. And it's not cheese food, okay? A lot of people can't tell the difference, though. Doesn't make any I difference know. to a lot of people. Nice patty. I don't like them real thick myself. A lot of people do. I don't. And we're going to take that and just we're just going to start it. And again, a little salt and pepper. Just a little tiny bit. That salt sure does roll out of there real fast. Now, this one's coming along real well. And I'm just, let's look at it. I don't want it to get too brown on the outside, so I'm going to reduce the heat just a little tiny bit because it's got to get done inside, all right? And as soon as I get this close to where I want it, we'll put the cheese on it. A lot of people prefer to put the cheese on it and cover it, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to put the cheese on it and let it melt naturally, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, right, Johnson, I'm just kind of scraping my pan a little bit here so it'll be cleaned up I thought you were I scra scraping bottom myself. To the, to the next burger. Now here's one burger over here and it's all ready to go and I'm just going to put a little of this fine chili sauce on it Ooh, and you can serve that right on your... Mm, that looks good. And let me put this towel down in here so I can clean this pan up because I'm going to do a real exotic burger. And it's got the pan has got to be cleaner than it is. Uh-oh, Jimmy Hammerstrom's getting nervous. What's wrong? He's coming around to the corner oh. of the set, moving things around. Well, I was going to knock that platter off. Thanks, oh. Jim. Well, that's a good thing that he was watching out. Yes. <laughs> it's so fun, so much fun to do burgers. Now, Lair, with this other burger, I've got it in a little pan. I'm going to run it under the broiler. I think I'll take this home and do a fine meatloaf. And here, this burger right here, I'm putting a big, healthy slice of tomato on it. Gosh. And I've got some sharp cheddar, and I'm going to put two about quarter-inch slices of cheddar on the top of it. And we're going to run it under the broiler. Now, boys and girls, we know the broiler rule with Uncle Laban, right? We all try to count up to a minute or so and then remind me to take it out. Well, that looks like it's mighty close to the element. Well, that's what broiling is. Well, but I mean, you can broil a little easier than that, just one down. I think that's right on top of it. Now, we have a minor disagreement here about where it should be on the broiler, but not much. <laughs> now, Larry, for this next burger, you might want to watch this. Oh, good. This is our basic burger, and we're going to add to it the BB, a couple of tablespoons of curry powder. Oh. He knows how much I love curry. And we've got our salt and pepper already in there. Salt and pepper's in. And we're going to add just a little bit of chopped onion in it. Yeah. Now let me grab it from over here where I've previously, where it's been previously chopped. And now I'm going to work it all into this. Now, I don't believe I've ever tasted curry in a burger this before. This is a curry burger. I knew he'd find a way. If there was a way to work curry in the hamburger, he would find a way. How's your broiler doing? Oh, I don't know. Uh-oh. 
52 seconds. It's doing all right. See, another problem with putting it way up there is that you can't see who's Johnson's real I can tall, see. and I'm not. Well, how much do you want this done? Oh, it needs to go until the cheese begins to turn just a little brown. A little on top. brown, all right. In the meantime, I'm a little longer on that, doing all of this. Now, I've got my curry powder mixed into my hamburger, and I'm going to make two lovely hamburger patties here. And that one, they go right back down in here like this. Real fine, beautiful hamburger patties. There they are with the curry powder mixed in. And now we add the piece of resistance, the coconut. Coconut? Coconut. In a hamburger? Mm-hmm. Now, come on, get coconut. out. Coconut. The uh -huh. curry was bad enough. Curry and coconut now, and a burger? You put the burger down in the coconut. And well, it you looks like a hairy uh, <laughs> little thing now. <laughs> oh, look, check oh, my thing. Oh, oh, yes, hurry, yes, yes, hurry, yes, quick. Yes, yes. Quick, quick. Is it ready? Nope. Yep. No, it's still uh, drizzling. Now, let me put the pan all back over the up place. here. Now, I've got some, some margarine in here, and I'm going to put the burger right back down in there coated with the coconut. Well, that's the doggone looking thing I've ever seen. It looks like the porcupine burger. <laughs> Remember how they used to make those porcupine uh, things in, uh, at Christmas? <laughs> in school? Where you put the rice in it and the, and, uh -huh. and the little rice and stick its heads out. Uh -huh. Where did you, uh, <clears throat> this, uh, do you have this a lot, uh, Johnson? Oh, real uh, often. When the boys are over? Yep. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. A little luck, maybe this one won't get done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll get done. Uh, that's it's what I'm waiting afraid of. You. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a... Woo! See, I'm just... It's trying. ready. Is Holy it ready? Moly. Is it ready? Yes. Oh, I'll say it is. It's starting to <laughs> smoke coming off it. Did we go too long? No, no, it's perfect. It's just perfect. All right, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Now, there you have it. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Do you need a... No, I got it. You got it. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Woo! How that about really that, is. sports fan? Now, I'm going to take just a little bit of uh, American cheese. I'm going to put two of them on there, and I'm just going to put it right on top. And that's just going to slowly uh, start doing its thing. And then, of course, I've got a bacon standing by, and we'll put that on just as we, as, as we put the burger into the bun. The lovely Frank Bacon standing by. And we're doing these mess. very, very slowly. Both of these are being done very slowly, and they're getting quite nice on the outside without burning. You cannot do these very fast because you've got to get a double thickness of burger fried totally. And you can see a little bit of the cheese is starting to run out there on the edges. Ooh, you know that one's going to be a double surprise. Mm -hmm. That's going to be fabulous. This is starting to wilt a little bit. You know, I've noticed it on television, some of the burger joints advertise their cheeseburger, and when they show them, the cheese looks about like that. And mm -hmm. to me, a cheeseburger should be melt. Uh, the, the cheese should be should melted, be melted mm -hmm. on the cheese. And run down, like this and gorgeous run and down, one right over Like here. that gorgeous one you just saw a minute ago with the tomato on it. That's the way it should look, in my opinion. I guess it's a matter of opinion. Well, I guess it is, but... Uh, but it's my opinion. And, right. So, what are you going to do? Well, we're certainly going to have lots of burgers on yeah. this now, program. Can you smell that coconut? Can no. You, seriously, smell. Oh, I can now, yeah. It is wonderful. Combination of curry and coconut and hamburger. <laughs> now, let me, I don't want to foul uh, this. You don't want to do one? I don't want to foul the coconut with the cheese. Oh, no, you wouldn't want to ruin that thing. Now, let's see if I can. <laughs> now, look at well, that. Well, look at, well, now, let me ask you something. Now, that's a rather thick burger. How do you keep that from, now you're going to have to fry that for a while in order to get it done as thick as it is. How are you going to get it done all the way through without scorching all the stuff off the outside of it? Patience and prayer. <laughs> the two P's. I would expect something like that. From no, I mean, you, anyway. I mean, we're not going to turn it up to disintegrated uh, level. We're just going to keep it uh, going. But it doesn't look to me like it would have to go very long before, I mean, it doesn't take long to, to scorch. Well, I mean, uh, this doesn't have to be served, uh, you know, like uh, done to a crisp all the way through. This could be served medium. No, but I think done a little bit might be nice. 
Oh, come and it on, looks John. like it's coming along faster on the outside than it is on the inside, Johnson. Well, it's going to be great. It smells wonderful already. Well, this one over here, the cheese is starting to get right where you want it. It's starting to get nice and flexible on the edges, and when it wilts all the way down, you can see it there. When it wilts all the way down, you'll be ready to take that off. The burger is now done, and we'll be ready to put our, in fact, if you want to heat those up right now, of course, you can add this later, but I'll go ahead and put that on there right now. Isn't it lovely? It's just going to be real pretty. It really is. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, and that'll just melt right into that. Mm. You know that's going to be fabulous. You know it is. And this is the way you do <coughs> burgers. But take your time. As Johnson was saying a while ago, a lot of people just fry stuff on the outside and it doesn't get done on the inside. Mm -hmm. and be patient. Nothing worse than going to a cookout and eating raw hamburgers that are fried well, off you know, once the outside. You, you really, I like to start with a real high heat and get the outside mm -hmm. seared so the juices stay inside. And then you can turn the heat down and cook it more slowly until it's the... Look at that Roquefort burger. Oh, Look yeah. at that. The Roquefort is mm -hmm. trying to get out of there. You see mm -hmm. that? Big white spot there? That Roquefort cheese is trying to escape. So let me out of here. It's hot in there. Boy, these it sounds babies. a little like Tom. Do you notice that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Let me out of here. That sounds like... You think Tom would like one of these? Oh, Tom would love this. He wouldn't love cleaning all this grease up afterwards, but he'd love this, I tell you. <laughs> well, now... I have to admit, this is one of the strangest burgers I have ever seen. But oddly enough, it does smell good. It really does. Mm -hmm. But you may not wish to try this at home. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dad, just joking. Give them a break. Let them have a, a curry burger. <laughs> serve uh, it, yeah, somebody wants to know, do you serve it with catsup or mustard? Well, I brought both. Well, I brought uh, mustard and I brought mayonnaise. Well, I today. guess that what they're asking... Actually, you could serve it with just about any way you wanted to. I was going to say, what they're really asking is, uh, you know, would mustard and catsup taste good with curry and uh, uh, coconut? Probably. Ketchup would. Mm -hmm. Probably. No, it would be fine. You know, when you serve a curry in India, they have all those different little condiments and everything. Hand me sure the big platter. I'm going to put this as now ready, perfectly ready. And if you want to, as I say, you can split a little English muffin and I think I lost one of my fine things off of it and take that and put it right in there and the whole thing fell off. That's all right. It doesn't matter. You can add it at the last minute anyway. It doesn't have to. Well, Lord, it's so slippery. There we and go. And that baby back over here and let me. Oh, well, wait a minute. Now my Roquefort burger is also ready. Totally ready. And look, it stayed together. Welded together just like it's supposed to. And there's our lovely coconut burger. Our coconut burger. Boy, I want to tell you, the staff is going to eat well today. Well, they're going to eat today. <laughs> Not necessarily here, but they may eat later on. No, they're going to like this. They really are. Now, that's lovely. You serve. It might even Isn't be fun. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> you might even want to do a whole, prepare a whole bunch of different ones at home just to freak people out. <laughs> and say, would you like a burger? And then serve all this stuff they've never seen before. <gasps> because people think when you say burgers, they think it's something safe that they're familiar with. But there's nothing ordinary about this. What are you going to try? There are just so many things here. Oh, I think I'll know. try your Roquefort burger. Oh, well, great, great. And you can try my curry burger. All right. Want a bun? Mm. You know, I can just hardly wait. Yes, indeed. And I'm going to now, remember, boys and girls, <laughs> the talking bun returns. I like to see Well, this one looks a little raw, Johnson. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I, I do swear. believe. Well, don't swear. I'm too. Well, we're going to give it a try. Mm. It's real good. It is good. I can't believe this. It is good. It is good. And I don't even like curry. But you do like that. And I love coconut. I believe it's coconut that saves it. No, but it is. It is and real good. And this is just wonderful. It's just Oh, so and I flavorful. noticed you've just gotten it all over everything, uh -huh. John. I'm glad I have on an apron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Now, it don't get no better than this, really. And then we got our old bacon burger laying there. I'll just leave that there. 
But anyway, it is fabulous. Just a little imagination. Right. And like Jimmy Buffett need. says, cheeseburger, cheeseburger in paradise. paradise. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Now these recipes are not available. No. It's just common sense stuff. It's just fun things that you can do in the kitchen with ordinary things that you do every day. Right. Just take some ordinary hamburger, add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and have fun. You don't have to prime just like that. You can add anything you like. This little one right here, you don't even want you to serve it. They don't have to do anything to it except pop it between the buns because it's already got cheese and a tomato right. and it's everything's got everything right on place. You can do it with onions. The thing is, don't go by the rules. Go have by your fun. head. Have a little fun. We'll see you real soon. See you at the burger joint. <laughs> so long. If you're a fan of cooking cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at BlueRidgePBS.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.